Now, adding lighting into your game helps a lot in how the game looks and feels. Don't believe me? This is a scene with no lighting and shadows, and this is that same scene, but with lighting added. Now, that should have been just enough to show you the importance of lighting in your games. Now, before we start the video, I'd like to say that this video is actually one lesson from one of my Udemy courses on how to create a moody atmospheric 2D game using Unity. I have 7,000 students on Udemy and a 4.5 star rating. So if you get any value out of this video, be sure to check out the course in the bio, which is currently 60% off for a limited time only. And with all that out of the way, let's get started with the video. All right, so in the last lesson, we just added tiles to our game. In this lesson, we'll be adding lights Especially using the URP, the URP package. So to add the URP package, you're just going to go to window, go to package manager, and I'm just going to select Unity registry. And right here, I'm just going to type in, I'm just going to type in universal render pipeline here it is now install it so the universal render pipeline is basically a, a pre-built render pipeline made by unity you can create optimized graphics for a range of platforms using it we're just going to be using the 2d lighting functionality from it and wait a bit for it to install it's not going to take too much all right so after the package is downloaded just close the window i'm going to right click in the assets go to create go to rendering right here in the bottom now this won't show unless you have the universal render pipeline package installed so go to urp asset with 2d render urp lights now it'll create a new urp urp lights asset go to edit go to project settings go to graphic and set in the urp lights to the render pipeline asset click on continue and now you have it done go to go to the player's material and go to the material section in the sprite render component deselect this eye icon and select sprite lit renderer sprite lit default and now go to the tile map go to the tile map renderer and go to the material section deselect the eye icon again and go to sprite lit default now i'm gonna right click in the hierarchy go to light and select spotlight 2d now everything just turned to black and that's actually a good sign so now if we go and put this light near the player the player lights up I actually have a lot of different settings for this light right here I can actually put it here we can make the strength of it we can uh, change the strength of it we can change the fall off strength of it so basically just play around with the settings the and see what you prefer the... awesome so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the player and right click on the player go to light and select a spotlight 2d now it'll create a light as a child of our player what so i'm gonna, gonna do is set the intensity to 0 0.4 set the outer radius to something like 2.11 and set the inner radius to something like 0 maybe maybe 8 increase the intensity a bit i'm gonna create a new 2d object sprites i'm gonna select this square sprite now i'm gonna make it a bit bigger I'm gonna set it as the background so I'm gonna make the original layer for it minus one and I'm gonna set it like this like so maybe even minus five I'm gonna change the color of it to this blue color feel free to copy this color if you want or just select any color you want now I think the light is a bit too much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the outer the inner light to be zero and the outer light to be 2.11 I'm going to create a new global light, another global light, sorry, global light 2D. A global light just basically lights up the entire scene. That's why it's called global light. And I'm going to set the color of this global light to this color. I'm going to set the intensity to 0 0.12. Maybe changes if you want to something a bit darker, but I'm going to keep it something like this. I'm going to go back to the player and set the fall off strength to something like 0 0.668. And awesome, these settings look pretty good. I'm gonna create another light 2D. We create a 2D light. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to light again and I'm gonna select and I'm gonna select freeform light and select square. Awesome, so this freeform light is actually a pretty handy tool. It's like the spotlight, but you can actually edit the shape of it. So I'm just gonna edit the shape to match the eyes shape. So something like this. I'm gonna change the the color of it to something like yellow I'm gonna set the color of it to something like this 
the intensity to something like 1.19 and the fall off strength to something like 1.71 and the fall off strength set it all the way to 1. Now I'm going to duplicate this right eye and set it for the left eye. Alright so now it looks pretty all right, so now it looks pretty good. I also would like to say that if you want to change the settings a bit and make it look a bit better and make it suit your preferences, have at it. You don't have to follow these settings bit by bit. If you want to change these settings, feel free to.